What is up, people? Welcome back to my channel. I'm Hansel Gonzalez and this is Moho Fishing. Finally, finally we're gonna go out there and we're gonna try to make a camp. Uh, targeted species today is gonna be the cobia. Cobia. There you go. So we're gonna target some cobia. Hopefully they swim up to the boat, we can find some. Uh, obviously our snappers uh, cannot live without our snappers. And uh, who knows, maybe we can catch a couple of kudas and uh, uh, put some uh, meat in the boat. So today again, we got our uh, good friend, uh, Dick Jacobs. Hi. All right. Um, I hope that uh, my audio today works. The last, the, the, last, uh, <laughs> the last introduction of my video wasn't working too, too good, so I bought some new microphones, the new edition. So anyhow, so we're on the way. Uh, supposed to be, uh, according to uh, Captain Aaron, there's a uh, small craft type uh, advisory or caution. She uses extreme caution. So, um, also according to uh, Captain Aaron, my boat is not a uh, small craft, so we should be just fine. There it is. All right, so we're on our way to the marina. We're gonna uh, uh, stock up on some uh, bait. Oh crap, I forgot the uh, pack of uh, ballyhoo I had in the freezer. Ah, oh well, so we're gonna stack up on some bait, maybe some light shrimp and stuff like that. We'll see what they got over there and uh, maybe some squid and uh, nothing. We're gonna go out there and uh, find some place and catch some fish. Let's do it. All right guys, so we got, you want me to get down? Are you good? Oh, yeah, All, right. All right, so we got the marina and it's a Monday after easter so it's april fool's day and uh this place is packed i can't believe uh on a monday this ramp will be this busy so oh wow all right so my body's gonna buck me up all the way to uh the ramp so look how busy this place is there's a boat there's another boat there waiting to be launched and uh I guess, you know, it's not, you know, I guess every day is the weekend now, you know, there's no, there's, there's no other, uh, any more days that, uh, you know, anymore that there's nobody over here. There's people always over here. So, anyhow, once again, we're going to launch this bad boy. All right, my people, we just left the ramp. My God, I don't know where all those people are going, but, uh. There was a lot of boats on that ramp. So anyhow, we are just uh, crossing the Bay Area right here, uh, right outside uh, Bayview Park in Naples. And uh, we're gonna get, uh, gonna go out there, gonna see what we can catch and uh, beautiful morning so far. Uh, you know, the water's back here is, is calm. Uh, we'll see once we get to the, uh, to the inlet. And uh, you know, a lot of, uh, Charter fishing, man, man. Uh, you know, a lot of charter fishing. So we'll see. So far, it looks like they're just staying uh, inshore. But um, we'll see. We'll see what we got out there once uh, we made it to the inlet. Um, we're gonna get on plane over here. So uh, I don't think we're gonna catch some live bait today. We're gonna fish with what we have. We got some ballyhoo, we got some squid, and we got some live shrimp. So we're gonna work with that. And uh, we got three bucks of shump. We're gonna shump that water up and see if we can bring that fish from the bottom. And uh, let's make it happen. We'll see you out there when we get to the spot. All right, guys and girls, we are here. We're gonna uh, deploy this bad boy right here again. It's a little sporty out here. Uh, we got some, uh, it's probably like a two foot chop, at times maybe two and a half. So uh, not strong enough for the sea hunt. So we're gonna Bad boy right here. We're about there because it's a little wavy out here. We don't want that motor to come out of the water. At least we can we can prevent it. Oh look at grasshopper. Is that good luck? Let's see. Alright. Bring it down a little 
little more. Right about there. All right. Let's put us in the spot. Let's do it. All right, peeps. So we got the uh, the show in the water. Um, right now we are preparing our, you know, our, uh, our rods. Make sure we got the right amount of weight on there, the hooks and stuff like that. Um, so uh, we're gonna let that shum work. Uh, you know, probably in the next uh, 20 to maybe a half hour. Um, you know, we should start bringing them out from the water. Um, you know, you want to shum. You want to start shumming and unless it's one of those days that you know the the bite is hot ah you know fix your rig fix everything you need to do uh let the shump shump the waters and then put the hook in the water uh sometimes you know putting the hook in the in the in the water right away it doesn't work and you get frustrated it's like man but how come it doesn't work my shump is in the water what's going on well sometimes you need to work uh let that shump work um, for you know in your favor bring them up bring them closer to the boat you know things like that so uh, that's what we're doing right now we are fixing our rigs and um, we're gonna let that shum work the water right now is about 70 maybe 72 degrees so and you know that shum is a block of ice so it's gonna take some time for that to uh, break apart and um, you know and start having a nice shum line so we'll see what we're gonna get over here there's a few numbers out here um, uh, this number is provided, this spot right here is provided by my captain Aaron right here. And um, so uh, the last, I believe one of the last, the last video that we had uh, Dick over, um, we, uh, we came over here after spending almost more than half a day at the other spots and we didn't catch anything. And over here is when we made good. So now being said that, sometimes that doesn't happen all the time. You know, you get to the same spot and you know, you have a great day you come two or three days after and you don't have a good day anymore but we always stay positive so we're going to make a killing today hopefully we can catch those cobias swimming to the boat because i know my body's up in san, uh, san pete and tampa area they're catching those cobias even even uh, even close to shore like you know uh, right off the uh, tampa bridge yeah so let's get them to the boat let's get the bite going and let's catch some fish action oh man come on Hey, look at that, nice. Little undersized snapper, but nonetheless, the, fe the first fish on the boat. Huh? That was the first cast, right? Yeah. Oh, nice. Oh, they're here, folks. They are here. Look at them down there. So we're gonna bring them up to the boat. All right, guys, so we're gonna do something crazy here. My boy right there, what are you gonna use? Mike's Bait House, Mike's Bait Shop. Makes the best jerky in town. We're gonna see if the fish like it as well. Here we go. Let's give it a try. I know I love it. You know what? What flavor is that one? This is actually the Jamaican jerk. Oh, look at you! Look at you! You got it. Woo! He let go. Did he cut you? Ooh, that was a nice bite. <laughs> so we are just messing around here. We have a uh, 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 what do you call it? We got a big shrimp just in a flat line out there in the water. And uh, he got a good bite. He got a good bite. So it looks like he didn't cut him. It looks like he just got the fish. But all right, all right let's go back to the. So what flavor was it again? This is Jamaican jerk. Jama a little spicy. A little spicy. Let's see. Bring me that grouper up here, boy. All right, we shall see, folks. We shall see. See if the fish likes the little smoky flavor, little smoky scent. What? Oh, look at you! Bye, bye, bye. All right, you got, a, you got the mother lord right there, buddy. Come on, bring it up. Woo! Mohawk fishing, live action. Yeah, baby. That's a big old cobia. Cobia. Come on, baby. He wants to go. Don't give him some slack. All right, what it is, what it is, what it is, I see color, I see color, I see color. It's a tuna jack, woo! All right, amberjack. Very nice, man, very nice. Yeah. Very nice, that pool, huh? Yeah. Imagine, yeah. 
one that small, imagine an actual size one. Is it 34 inches, right? I believe it's 34 inches. Imagine the big ones, the one that they, uh, you know, pretty much the same size as you. It's, they're like a... All right, so that one is short. I believe we are a season two. I don't know. I haven't really looked into it, but however... I'm getting nibbles, but no, not, nothing's taken it yet. Okay, nothing's taken it yet. All right, so... All right. It's... Uh, there you go, buddy. Yeah, that one is... Uh, you got it? All right. There it is. Run down, run down, run down. Right there it is. All right, we got him. Run down, run down. There it is. We got him, baby. Yeah, yeah. Woo, smoker. Oh, yeah. Uh-huh. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Yeah. Live action. Boho fishing right here. You got collar? All right, come back over here. Perfect. Keep going. Oh, yeah. Uh, I'm in your line. I'm in your line. Oh, okay. there, we go. There, there you go. go. Hang on. I got it. I got it. I got you. I got you. I got you. Oh, yeah. Come on. He's coming back over here. All right. There it is. I see some color. Grab the gap. All right, hang on. Wait, he's not ready. He's not ready. One more loop. Hang on. He's bringing his iron. Here, watch out. Watch out. Grab the line. Grab the line. Grab the line. Grab the light. Woo! Yeah! There you go. Live action, guys. Live action. Very nice. Very nice. Give me five, don't let me hang, asshole. <laughs> very nice, very nice. Very nice. Very nice, right there. Very nice. Yeah, baby. Kings are in the house. Perfect. Perfect, perfect. All right, buddy, let's take a picture with that thing. Real, real, all right, don't, don't pull, don't pull. You don't have to pull. There you go, just keep reeling. There you go. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. As soon as he sees the boat, he's gonna go for it. Don't pull, don't pull, don't give him some slack, you see? He's gonna take off when he sees the boat. There it is. There it is. All right. Keep that tension. Just keep that tension, okay? Right. You're doing great. Quick zoom up for me. Mike's bait shop. Jack Jerk Jamaican. Woo! Follow the fish. All right. You follow him. Don't get tangled. There you go. Wherever he's going, you go. Keep it tight. Keep it tight. There you go. Oh, yeah. Come over here. Come over here. Come over here. Back, 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 back. Around, around the... All right. All right. He's there. All right. He's coming. See some color. Hang on. Aaron, grab the line. Grab the line, Aaron. On to, oh, hang on, he's not ready. Okay, here. Okay, bring it in. Bring it, bring it. Oh! Okay, hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Oh, shit, he cut. He wasn't hooked. Oh, -hoo! yeah! Yeah, what we got here, folks? Oh, yeah. Ooh. Fighting like an amber jack. Small amber. Woo! <laughs> All right. I still have to find out and see if this is this is uh, the season. I don't think it is, but that's definitely too short. There you go, folks. Little greater. It's going back. Get bigger. I'll catch you later. Ha! There's a lobster in there somewhere, Jake. Here, hold my camera. I should. I. I'll. I'll, I'll get it for you. Give me a minute. With your teeth? Yeah. 
Let's see. I saw it. I saw it. I see it. I see it. Uh-huh. That one. Oh, yeah. There it is. There it is. Oof. Oh, yeah. Man, what happened to my net? There it is. It's a lobster, Jake. All right, boy. You ready? This is a big boys game right here, boy. Let me see. Yeah, 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 yeah. You might wanna, you might wanna stretch those, yeah, I'm uh, old, you those hammies. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's right. You're in your thirties now, huh? <laughs> Spoil the secret. Oh man, sorry, my bad. Uh, 20, 25. Yeah. Sure. All right. All right. So Captain Everything is setting up the, uh, the freeliner out there. That way, uh, they can grab the rod and. Go to town with that kingfish. They're smoking the rods. Uh, the shrimper boat is way over there. Maybe about a, just shy of a couple miles away from us. They're way around us, so uh, that's probably why they're over here. You know, they want that shrimp that falls off those nets. So any minute now, that red, oh, 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 there it is! Oh, yeah. <laughs> Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Will? Oh, oh, oh. oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Uh-huh. He's coming. He's coming. Ready? He's gonna take off, hang on. Let him take off. There you go. It's coming. Oh yeah. Bring it this way. There you go. There you go. Yeah, baby. There it is. Woo! Give me some action right here, boy. Nice. Very, very nice. Nice one. Yeah. Yes, I do. It's right there. All right, my friend. Very nice one. Very nice one. There you go. That's every little bit of it. Pick him up. Get your bridge. Uh-uh, come on, grab that fish the right way. One hand on the tail, there you go. Don't let it go. <laughs> Hang on. I'm going to pause to take a picture real quick. Tight, 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 tight. Oh, tight. Tight, oh yeah, tight. tight that there. Oh, mama cedar. All right, that's good. Start reeling. Oh, yeah. All right, stop, 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 stop. All right, reel. Woo. All right, keep it tight. We got another one on the hook. Oh, yeah. Look at you. Don't pull, just keep reeling. There you go. Just keep it tight. Watch for the engines. Watch for the engine. Come over here. She wants to come over here. Come over here. Hold that there, Iron. Hold that there. Hold that there. Let me get this out of the water. There you go. Oh, yeah. Oh! Oh, oh man! How do you feel about that? Uh, all right. Let's see if we can catch another one. That that last one, it got on. It, it looks like uh, somehow it got wrapped around the litter and it cut the, the whole litter up, you know, with the hook and everything. So we just put another one out there. We should be getting a bite sometime about now. <laughs> ah man, a little too early. All right now. <laughs> All right, yeah, let's do it, you know? All right, so my, uh, my boy Dick is coming around the corner there. Oh! Oh, wait. Hold up, hold up. He's taking a break. <laughs> uh, that was a nice hit. Man, that was a nice hook too. All right, reel. Let's see. Let's reel and see if. Uh... 
Then we got him. Does it feel like you got anything in there? Like leader wise? All right, guys, so we found a laser. All right, for those who are an animal lover, lasers are not. Oh, I got a big bite! I got a big bite! Keep coming, hold on. <laughs> oh. No, 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 Oh, great, huh? <laughs> what? Well, I broke the tail off. <laughs> All right, guys, going back to uh, going back to the laser situation here. So we found a lizard. Uh, for those who are. Uh, lizard uh, protector, uh, maybe this is not a good uh, thing to watch. So we're going to use it for bait. We're going to catch... Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what we got here? We got some action on this side right here. Oh, man. Bro, that lizard took a chunk out of him. All right, keep it lane. Very nice, very nice. Oh, all right, buddy. This is it. This is going to be... A black fin tuna. This is it. All right, folks. Oh! What? Oh! what? No. <laughs> I can make this up. Oh my god! You really got a bite? Oh my god! Oh, he took it, huh? Well, from now on, I'm gonna catch all the lizards around the house <laughs> to bring it over here. Oh, uh, all right. Take a bite out of it. All right, send it back down. Let's see. Got a taste in like that. <laughs> <laughs> and then right back there. <laughs> that fish is like, what is this? Tastes a little, ra uh, what do you call it? Uh, rancid. Gourmet meal. All right. <laughs> all right. Well, I guess uh, they don't. They don't like the taste of a lizard. That, that fish got a bite of that and it's like, bleh. So, <laughs> and then he went around and told everybody, hey. Oh, they took it. Oh, man. You see, we're, now we'll never know. That was the only lizard on the boat. There's a beetle. Uh, there's a beetle? Yeah. All right, so we're going to do the beetle next, uh, next time. Woo, maybe. Maybe. Oh, that's a nice keeper. Oh, that's a that beetle. Yeah. yeah. Yeah! Oh, no way! No way! He's the, no way! He's the one that is a lizard! Regurgitated it. Oh, man, all right. No way, man. No way. What are the odds of that? Cobia. Shark. <laughs> Too bad it's not a black tip. Woo! Little reef shark. Woo! Man, you're lucky you're not a black tip. Should I do like the uh like those people in the uh in the video where they put their finger in the mouth? <laughs> no. And see if it works? No. no. Yeah, maybe no. I should. No. Yeah, you're right. You are right. I'm not gonna do it. Easy, buddy, easy. I know. There he goes. Ooh, I think he took my hook. Oh no, he's there. No, he took it. All right, guys, so uh, we tried our private spot over here. We're gonna go to another, um, they're not private numbers. Uh, they're they're uh, public numbers. And um, 
saying so you know it's got a little worse out here shopping wise so and it's already like uh, you know past one o'clock so uh, the day is winding down and uh, the wind was supposed to pick up after 2 p.m. so we're gonna get a little closer uh, inshore uh, try this uh, public numbers and see if we can catch maybe a cuda and uh, something else and uh, we'll you know we'll, uh, we'll we, have, we have caught cobia here before in these numbers yeah for sure so we're gonna give the give that a try for a little bit and uh, if not you know well we got food we got definitely meat in the cooler so we're gonna call it a day after that so we'll meet us at that spot all right peeps so we got to this new spot over here uh those uh public numbers uh, as you can see we got some boats around us that one right there has four motors. It's probably about 50 feet, uh, 50 feet long, and it's uh, fishing uh, about 11 miles away from the coast. So, yeah, I don't get it either. You know, a big boat like that should be out there, like far out. However, that's a, a good indication that probably out there there's some big waves uh, because today's even over here. You can I don't know if you can tell, but it's very, 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 very sharp. So we got nothing but nibbles over here. Um, this is what we got what we're dealing with right now uh we believe that that's mostly bait looks like it by the way that they're uh, it's biting and um also if you guys look at the shum line uh back here if you can tell there's a lot of bait eating our shump right now so whatever is left um, of our of our uh, shum bag so we we you know we have spotted a few kudas out here um what we're gonna do is um, we're gonna try to uh, throw, uh, throw the uh, the in it the uh, cuda tube when we're ready to uh, call it quits and uh, see if we can uh, catch a cuda maybe one or two by trolling trolling up and down and uh, we're gonna give that a try so we'll see I, I believe this is uh, gonna come to the end of our trip but uh, let's see let's see if we can catch a cuda we can show you guys in the video too so. Let's give that a try. So, hey, my man is showing the dig how to do the knot, how to put the you know hook on there. Are you learning, son? Yes. Okay. Well, for those who got fake teeth, make sure you don't you know gotta be careful with that. You got any fake teeth? Good. All right. All right. Sorry. All right. Off the topic here for a second. All right. Let's uh, keep on going and uh, let's see if we can catch a cuda. Doesn't look like uh, we're going to be fishing much bottom anymore. Um, so we're going to give that a try here. All right. So we, uh, we're almost done for today. Right now we are trolling back there with, uh, with a uh, cuda tube. So we can catch a, a couple of kudas here before we go. Uh, right now we're going over some uh, artificial uh, reefs. Um, so let's see if we can, uh, once we go over them, see if we can put a kuda right on this boat. We saw a few of them, so got to willing to make this happen. All right, peeps, no, uh, no luck on the trolling, so this is it. We're going to call it quits. Uh, we'll see you back at the house where we're going to fillet what we got. We're going to show you guys uh, our uh, fillet method. And uh, good thing we got some meat in that cooler. You know, we never go, uh, luck, you know, lucky it's been a year since we go skunked. So no more skunked in our life. So anyhow, we see you guys back on land. Uh, it looks like it's going to be a bumpy ride all the way back. Uh, roughly about, give it or take, 10 miles. And, uh, you know, hopefully we're going to stay dry uh, because that water is pretty chilly. <laughs> For me, it's really cold. Uh, anyhow, so let's do this. Let's go back and I'll see you guys back at home. All right, peeps, we're back home. We're over here. I'm about to fillet some fish. Hey, do you want those kingfish fillet? You want to? How do you want? You want one of them? No, what? No. Yeah, no, yeah. no what? what? Yeah. So how do you want it? You want a fillet or you want a uh, like round steaks? Mm -hmm. Whichever is easier Pick. to cook. Huh? Whichever is easier to cook. Well, it all depends what you want to do. If you want a deep fry, we can do uh, we can do some about inch thick uh, steaks, 
And now we can fillet. Okay. All right. So we're going to fillet. All right, folks. So here's the kingfish right here. About puppy right here is about, uh, oh, good, you know. Yeah, this one's about 28 inches to the fork. Got to be 24 to the fork. So we're going to fillet this one right here real quick. All right. So you're going to make a uh, an incision right behind the uh, the fin. Okay. And... Uh, all right, see if you guys can see me right there. All right, so right behind, right behind the fin, and then you're gonna come in here, and you're gonna make a cut right along the spine. Like that, make a nice cut. You, I can actually feel the, the, the spine in there on the tip of my knife. So that's how you're gonna do it, all right. There you go, and then you come in with the knife along the spine. You, you know, can you hear that? That's the spine right there. So keep going all the way along like this. That means that you're not wasting any fish. I gotta turn it this way, folks. I'm sorry. That way, uh, otherwise, it would be a little weird for me to cut the other angle. So. Along that spine, that knife needs to be like an angle, like this, that way. Because if you lift it up, you're gonna you're gonna miss a lot of meat on that spine. Here it is. So, along that spine, just like that. See, that's the spine right there. So you got a nice fillet. We should have probably washed this a little bit. <laughs> All right. Same thing on this side. You're going to make a cut this way. We're going to go along the spine. I'm going to come in again with the knife. ¿Eh? Mañana, ¿qué es lo que van a chequear? Todo. <laughs> All right, guys, so you got the one side fillet, All right. and then you got the other side fillet. So a lot of people, they like a, uh, they like a soft blade knife. I like my blade to be rigid. You know, I like my blade to be hard. I want to feel, you know, when I'm driving that knife through the fillet, I want to feel every single uh, part of the fillet. That way I know I'm cutting right. Um, some people that like that, you know, that, that, that flexible blade, I don't. So, but you know, that is all depends what you like. So I like to go in there. Uh, this this blade is a little dull and I wish I had that sharper now so let's see this one right here all right this one is a little better so what I do is I'll, I'll, I'll cut a little a, a piece of, I've started the fillet and then I'll at the same time I drive forward I work it you know backwards Once again, we're gonna cut the middle, down the middle of the, of the fillet. Right down the middle there. All right, and we're gonna clean it a little bit. So there's some rib cage bones right here. We're gonna... So, a lot of people that like their kingfish to be smoked. I like my fish deep fry. Now, I can grab this fillet right here and I can put some, um, uh, uh, you know, put it inside some all purpose flour side to side and just deep fry it. Psh, it'll come out very, very nice. We got some 
nice size uh, mango snapper. All right, guys, so uh, this is it. I hope you enjoy uh, my video. Um, I'm gonna finish filleting all these fish. We've got a bunch of lane snapper. We've got a bunch of uh, mango snapper. And uh, nothing, if you like what you see, uh, please like uh, me on my channel, uh, subscribe it, and uh, pass down the word. If you have any other way of doing this, by all means, like I said, you can always comment on my videos and share what your thoughts are. Um, I do this video so I can, you know, I can help people out, how to catch fish, how to clean them. Um, like I said, we can all share this idea. So once again, thank you for watching my YouTube channel. Um, I'm Hansel Gonzalez and this is Moho Fishing. And uh, just, you know, uh, just, you know, make sure you guys subscribe, uh, click that uh, notification bell. That way when I, I, I upload another video, you guys can see it. All right, well, thank you very much and uh, God bless.